And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shen Barrier. So this deck is going to be a Fiora Shen deck. Um, basically the reason why I call this deck Shen Barrier is because a couple of months ago before Shen was buffed and before um, anybody ever played Shen, which I guess these days it's kind of just me playing Shen all the time. Um, I started with this one named Shen Barrier, so that's why it's just kind of named this. But you know, it could be Fiora Shen. Um, or Shen Fiora could be a good name. But anyway, this is going to be a lot like the Zed Shen deck that I've been playing to rank up with, but with Fiora. Basically, I wanted to play the other... Like, so I wanted to play this because I wanted to play an Ionia deck. Ionia seems to be really, really struggling with the recent nerfs to Will of Ionia and to Shadow Assassin. Um, even, like, the meta stats, like, all of... <laughs> every single Ionia deck's, like, under 50% win rate um, on there. So I, would, I wanted to play an Ionia deck. It's also been a, a little bit. It's been a few days since I have played one. Um, so yeah, we're going to play this. We're going to play a River Shaper in here, a Laurent Chevalier. I've been pretty impressed with both of these cards. Um, and I think they're perfect for this kind of deck. I am going to just try a Bright Steel Formation just to have some fun, just to try something a little different. Um, you all know me that I'm not a huge fan of this card, but it's great against other mid-range decks. It's great against, like, Demacia decks and stuff like that. And maybe it could be really good against mid-range Frostbite. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but besides that, everything else is pretty standard. I got one Ranger's Resolve in here to be a nice little trick. Um, a couple of more uh, fight spells to help out, Fe you know, help Fiora kill some enemies with two single combat, two Concerted Strike. Split the difference there. And that's about it. Alright, so let's play some Shen at Barrier. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked. And here we go. Yeah, I mean, basically just, just keep working at it. K4, you said your Diamond 1 hard stuck. I mean, it's... Um... <clears throat> it's not always just linear like the more you play the more you get better and the more you win kind of thing like variants games like this these are variance games and so like some some days slash weeks you'll win a lot some days slash weeks you'll lose a lot like that's just kind of how life goes and you just got to keep working on it and keep learning and uh, keep your head up not get discouraged when bad uh, patches hit um, and you'll get there. You'll you'll break through. You you're never hard stuck. Just I guess that's the thing to kind of take from that is that there's there is no such thing as hard stuck. Well, I hope my opponent doesn't play Withering Wheel ever. Ugh. These woods protect their own. The second hapless aristocrat is definitely an uh. They would fall by Because the first hapless aristocrat, you know, we have the Fiora. And it's fine. But the second one. Yuck. Strike quickly, try me. Not bad. If they're out there, I'll spot them. This is just the perfect, <laughs> the perfect small defense. Hapless aristocrat, hapless aristocrat, Avaros and Sentry. Oh, 
Let's see what they got over there that they've, you know, they have their eight mana that they've been saving, haven't been playing anything. It's not bad. Everything I've worked for. You know, just a fury, you know, fury of the north killing Fiora. Black spears have looked pretty good. A storm approaches. That's a killer. That's a killer. Basically, is that six mana spell worth? You know, is is that worth using? Five cards over there. I don't feel too great about this game. Yeah, you know, just I just used a six mana spell to stop just a, an attack trigger. Basically, do nothing else. Still see far and clear. Head to the face. I find them unworthy. I'm using the barrier here on this thing, even though all it's doing is just simply attacking the O1 because they have removal spell for it. It's going to eat the barrier. Nivea's harsh winds or a regular one? One candle for every soul. Looks like that's an Anivia Harsh Winds because it shows Anivia here. You know, Anivia targeting Shen and, F and Fleet Feather Tracker, so that was an Anivia's Harsh Winds. Nivius have just killed me. Well, really, just like the the double hapless aristocrat, double Averroes and Sentry. I mean, all that stuff just killed me. Light, what a 
Water changes but never breaks. What was I doing? Yeah, I mean, that's basically... Who was saying that? Apes everywhere? That was... I mean, that's basically the same deck I was just playing. Two worlds. That, that I was talking about with the Discard Deep. Sorry, I, I kind, of, kind of got distracted there, but... Um, no, Apes everywhere. That's, that's the Discard Deep deck that... Yeah, I played that a few days ago. Uh, no, no room for Rally in this deck. Rally is not a card I want at all. Not a fan of Relentless Pursuit. I'd rather have, in, you know, I'd rather have an interaction spell. I'd rather have card draw. I'd rather have a lot of things. And rally. I love that they're blocking the River Shaper here with the Anivia. Hopefully we can... Um, oh, darn. I was say, hopefully we can draw a spell that would kill the Anivia. Since the River Shaper draws a spell, you know, maybe it would draw a single combat or concert. Well, I guess it can't draw a single combat, but maybe it would draw a concerted strike. No, it's... This is probably just game. This is our time. Snow, wind, and ice. Anivia good. Anivia good. I did all I could. That's a tough matchup. Our hand our hand was really good. Um yeah, I mean, our, our hand was, was really good, and, you know, they they grind it down. That's that's a tough matchup, because Anivia just is a one-sided Wrath over and over and over every turn. And their deck is just Turbo Anivia, where it's all just, like, Anivias and Entreat to find Anivia, and then Rekindler, bring it back, and then Harrowing, bring back Anivias. And our deck is supposed to try to grind them down, and, and it's basically impossible to grind down that Anivia deck. So that's definitely a really tough matchup for us. Um, cause yeah, I can't, I can't complain about my hand. My hand was really good. And it was a pretty one-sided game. That, that deep deck is not BBGs. I don't... saying bbg's deep jackets because let's see am i keeping repose wait what am i doing am i keeping repose yeah i'm gonna keep repose um unless unless you're talking about the freljord one the freljord one could be his but the discard deep that was like from some some person on on reddit right because re remember how we we got paired against it, well, like four days ago or so, and maybe, yeah, and the person we played against, they they said it was from somebody on Reddit, and sent the link, and then, then we changed some stuff, and then we played it the next day, um, changing a couple of things, like Twisted Fate and stuff. Banish the unworthy!
So I want to keep Repost because against the Karma Lux deck, they're going to have the larger units. And so the Repost should be pretty good against the larger units. Is my thinking. Um, I'm not going to go to attack and then Repost. Maybe I should have. The Kinku. Feel the sizzle! Maybe I should have though. Um, basically making that that change before they can, instead of keeping their thing alive and then letting them play like another real Radiant Guardian. Okay, if you get a 1-2-2 two, two at the first round and then get one damage through support of a battle chef, it becomes a 1-3-2. After the round, it becomes a 1-2-2 two, two. again. Is it a bar? Denounce magic. I, don't, I don't understand. I you have no alibi. You can't outrun justice. You have no alibi. I don't, I don't understand. There's... Protect there's no bugs in the game with war chefs. I guess that's the end. That's the answer. There's no bugs. Well, that was a ridiculous turn. Yeah, Fury does perma heal. If if you have an injured thing, if you use a, a pump spell on something that's injured, it does heal it permanently. Show them what we're made of. See, I'm that two mana four three challenger, that card's amazing. I I'm now like worried after like that, that previous turn that they had, I'm now worried about like tapping out again. Because of that card. Remember the fall. Follow my lead. Batter him. I guess I could have like maybe pumped the buff the Sithria with the other war chefs and just kept this thing at a 6-2 instead of a 7-3. Even a, a leveled up. Um leveled up Lux isn't going to survive that. Concern Strike was a was an amazing draw, right? Like that helps us from you know, if they have judgment or unyielding spirit, I don't need to be worried about either one now. Because of that concerted strike. Steel. 
So yeah, that was that was an amazing draw. Because otherwise, Unyielding Spirit, the Lux, the game's over. And this is where Bright Steel Formation earns its money in Demacia matchups. The question is, is do we play Shen first or do, do we just go straight to combat? That's the main question. Um, it's just going straight to combat. I don't really, I mean, they, let's see, they have to have, like, Will of Ionia. I don't even know how they really survive. Like, two Will of Ionias, basically. Or, like, you know, Concussive Palm plus Will of Ionia. Like, they have to have that kind of stuff. But I guess we go straight to combat. Head to the face, feel the sizzle. I mean, even if they have that, I have Stand United, so that doesn't even work. They have to have a third thing. A third stunner, Will of Ionia. I've been hiding my life too long. My opponent did it have a really good use of emotes. They they certainly out emoted me. I I wish I would have emoted better. They they did a great like all their emotes were on point. Ooh, what we get? Huh? Do we got room for a Huh, emo. <laughs> yeah, the sad pour out the wasted unyielding was pretty key. That was that was really nice. And I, I didn't use my Elise. Like that would have been a perfect time for me to use my Elise emo. Missed opportunity by me. Hey, play GGs. Yeah, that was a that was a good one. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was from from after the YouTube video. I I got very uh, I got very lucky. We were just talking about how you did a lot better job of um, emoting than I did. I didn't have like you definitely won there. Um, your, yeah, your emotes were on point. Uh, I just, like, the reason why I won that game was that Concerted Strike on the Judgment, of course, and I just, I top-decked that Concerted Strike right at that that moment. That was just a perfect top-deck, and the reason why I won that game. Alright, so, Protégé... Protégé does a better job of killing these things, but River Shaper draws me a bunch of spells, and with how my hand is filled with units drawing a bunch of spells is kind of exactly what I want. What I really, really want. So, River Shaper will give us what we want. What we really, really want. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's... Go with. Do I even attack with warships? Do we just go Shen. Shen Shaper? 
We're certainly attacking with River Shaper, and we're gonna have Shen protect it. So it's either it's either just attack these two or put War Chefs first. We could do War Chefs first. Let's let's buff this Shen. If Shen doesn't come as close to dying. I think that's an okay trade. Alright, that's fine with me. Draw an extra repost. I'll take that. I rarely think planks. Um These woods protect their own. Keeper, our lands need us. Strike, we will reform. Immediately. I mean, I guess Shen might as well block there. I think it's an acceptable block. Yeah. Because Mega Rain still wouldn't kill the Shen. Good Mega Rain. But we're still left, even with the good Mega Rain. You know, we get to draw another spell. We have seven cards to their six, and we have a better board. So we're still left in a pretty good position. Strike and grace, beauty in the play. Obviously, Swiftwing Lancer is better. My shield is yours. Honor I'm going with our um, the Protégé, so I still get to go Protector, and I can even have single combat. I need more uh... you are told. Wait. I was going to challenge the O3, and then I realized... Wait, that we don't actually kill the O3. True, gotta watch out for decimates. Good call. I don't really want to kill the Grenadier this turn because I don't want to level up the Gangplank this turn. That makes sense? Keep that Noxion Fervor. <laughs> or I should keep that single combat for Noxion Fervor. Fortune favors the bold. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah, maybe that was a waste of the single combat. Wait, so next turn we're going to have 8, 9, 10 mana. Okay, so we can play this and still have Barrier Stand United. It must be done. Place is still in the mortal world. All right, use Shen as some pump spells. Try again. 
GG's. Everything as it should be. Pump spell Shen. Okay, two and one. Getting back on track. That Anivia matchup is pretty tough, but getting back on track after that. Yeah, that's yeah. River Shaper did its job, definitely. River Shaper definitely did its job. You think it should be a two of over what? Like over the Laurent Chevalier? You think it should just be two River Shapers? One Laurent Chevalier? Or zero Chevalier? Uh, right now I'm splitting one and one. That's kind of the only place to put it, unless you want to take out a Genevieve Elmhart. But Genevieve Elmhart is kind of broken. Just kind of, not 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 completely. It's just great. <laughs> Take out a prismatic barrier, but prismatic barrier is so good because it only costs three mana. It costs like the your exact spell mana. More spooky mage seekers. Uh, let's see, we're gonna have... All these cards are good. The problem is they all cost four or five mana, but they are all good. So mulliganing different ones is kind of tough. There we go. That was a good mulligan. What do you think, Silverwing? You like your party hat? Looks like Silverwing likes his party hat. Shape the land and give it life. River shape the land. Probably not attacking this turn. Nah, still probably not attacking this turn. That's good news though, it wasn't remembrance. Been a while since we haven't seen Remembrance on a three. Did it move? The balance requires a watchful eye. No. Valor. Valor. What form will the waters take? <sighs> All right. Well, still draw a spell. The problem with cur the problem with curving out is I just don't have I don't have spell mana. It's the problem with curving out. Hey, what's up, Annie Desu? Shen is awesome. I really like the Shen decks. Um, and yeah, this one's been going pretty good. Two and one. We we did run into a tough matchup against a bunch of hapless aristocrats and. An Anivia's and stuff like that earlier. Feel the sizzle. And that can be pretty tough. Can't fight on an empty stomach. You have to get me out of here. Please, I have connections. 
I just hope that we get to survive this turn, and it's not too bad. I would. I don't really mind if they play like. Uh, I don't. Well, they don't have the mana for Radiant Guardian, but you know, like that kind of stuff. I don't really mind. It's just all the removal. That's fine. I hope we just get to untap and then start having these spells available. Some four Demacias. Four Demacia is a good card. Let the light guide you. Nah. Don't really need to let the light guide us. We're gonna use the. I don't know. What do you use? It's not the light. It's like the spirit. I don't know. The realm. Different. Realm, we'll use that. Hmm. Fortunate. So I could have killed like the 3-3 three, three for free by fighting here and killing the 3-3. Three, three. Then they would have the the luck still. What am I at seven mana? Seven mana. This is kind of the worst. Like I don't I don't have anything really to protect this Genevieve. Or you know, like I still don't have like Mana for this other stuff. Follow my lead. Hmm. Well, I can't protect against vengeance. As it had to be. These woods belong to us. Their pride will cost them. Do I want to make this trade? Yeah, because if I don't, Tracker goes back to being a 2 1. Let me trade with a 3 3. Well, we are now just relying on Elmheart. That that single combat they had certainly hurt. Oh, I would have loved to have you before during that single combat time. Alright, back to me. Fight. Now Elmhart's down to two health. You can count on me. These woods belong to us. Huh. 
Huh. If I play Green Clay Caretaker and they play Ruination, I I have nothing. Do I just pass? Card's annoying. That card's really annoying. These woods protect their own. Yeah, I don't I don't really have card draw. The thing is, maybe I need to slow down and not curve out as much and just slow down and, like, take a turn of, like, just a barrier turn kind of thing. You know, like, maybe, maybe I shouldn't be just, like, yeah, maybe I shouldn't be curving out as much, especially when we had so many spells. This is where we lose this game there. Top end's better than ours. Looks like these Rekindler decks have been giving us trouble. Depends. I don't know, maybe Bright Seal Protector can save us. Maybe. Ertola, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. Glad you've been enjoying the YouTube videos. Happy to have you over here. Yeah, it's Top Deck Bright Steel. I wonder if...
wonder if it's Silverwing Lancer that we shouldn't be playing, that we should have River Shaper, more like River Shaper and Chevalier. Just play like an extra copy of each of those instead of Sw Silverwing, Swiftwing Lancer. Like Swiftwing Lancer dies and creates an elite, but it's just a lot of the times these elites are kind of garbage cards that don't matter. Where River Shaper always draws us one of our spells. Chevalier always creates a challenger. Which sometimes that challenger can be Swiftwing Lancer. Swiftwing Lancer has the ability to, you know, it's a 5-4, so it has the ability to take out some larger things that the other cards don't. Nah, we're just moving on. The the top there's no top deck that saves us. Bright Steel would have been our best, but I don't know. I was, I was pretty lost. Alright, so two and two. Let's not play against Rekindler decks. Those seem to be giving us some fits of... Being able to just have enough units to, to grind us down and then rekindle or bring back those awesome champions. All right, Twisted Fate Ezreal, this is where, this is like the matchup to have Rangers Resolve in your deck. Um, this, is, this is the reason why we have Rangers Resolve in our deck. Hopefully we draw it. Love to have it for this one spell mana. Never mind, we're not gonna have a spell mana. Alright, so I guess we're just going to curve out and hope they just don't have the removal for everything, you know? Like, hopefully something gets through, um, and, you know, they just don't kill everything. I can't I don't think I can play River Shaper in into a powder keg. Love that we got the bar the prismatic barrier. Love that. Heal me in. But yeah, that's why we couldn't play River Shaper into Powder Keg. The balance requires a watchful eye. Silver Ring Lancer. Um, yeah, yeah, we just go Silver Ring Lancer. Uses my mana the best. I've got your back. Ugh. An imbalance. Is even worth it. Plants are down to two health. Let's 
yeah. Devil, I was kind of d debating between whether to do this or whether to do like just Shen giving the Lancer a barrier. That was pretty rough though, them taking my Bright Steel Protector. That's pretty rough. Okay, so for the Spooky Teemo deck, you want me to use the Spirit Blossom? Swear Slow, you'll have to tell me which Spirit Blossom you want. Um. One shot, all skill. You'll fight or you'll swim. Water changes but never breaks. Well, I don't want to be worried about Mystic Shot now. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Um, do I... Do I play Genevieve Elmhart pre-combat? I think I do. Yeah, I think we do. I was going to challenge Twisted Fate first with the 5-5. Five five. That was going to be my first thing to do was challenge Twisted Fate with the 5-5. Five five. Um, that that game was really important to not play River Shaper on turn 3, take the turn off, get the spell mana for Prismatic Barrier. And I think that was kind of a mistake that I didn't do the, the previous game when I had the multiple Prismatic Barriers that I basically ended up never playing is that I think I need to kind of take a turn off to be able to have those prismatic barriers to help save the units that we were playing. Um, I need to slow down a little bit. But yeah, overall looked pretty good. The the Shadow Isles decks with like your hapless aristocrats and then, and you know, that kind of stuff. And then uh, really powerful champions, Anivia, Lux, ones that are hard to kill, like Anivia and Lux, those are hard to kill. And then Rekindle are bringing them back. That's that's a weakness of our deck of playing some smaller challengers. So that's what we lost both of our games to was a Rekindler um, Anivia, Rekindler Ash. Those are pretty difficult. Um, but that's all right. Still show that you can still play some Ionia, get some wins, pair with Demacia. We didn't get to do anything that cool with Fiora. We only had Fiora the very first game. But yeah, I could see playing more River Shaper and a Chevalier, like both of these cards, a lot. Um, but I think it is kind of necessary to have those barriers. I I wouldn't mind if we take out Ranger's Resolve. I I do like Ranger's Resolve, but I wouldn't mind if we want to take it out. If we want to play another, you know, a second River Shaper instead of a Ranger's Resolve, I would have no complaints on that. I basically wanted to try the one rangers resolve but it's not and it can it can be great at times but then there's other times like that that spooky mage seeker matchup where it just sat in our hand and i would just never even you know i never had any kind of reason to ever play it so it it doesn't save your barriers so like that's that's something that doesn't like pair great with the barriers so i i could see getting rid of the rangers resolve for another river shaper but yeah, uh, that's it. Yeah, you think Raiders resolves to keep in the meta? Yeah, it's it's definitely amazing against the Ezreal decks, and that's kind of why you have it is because of the Ezreal decks. Um, 
and there's a decent amount of Ezreal decks running around, and that's that's why you have Ranger's Resolve, and um, I like trying to beat those decks. Uh, include Bannerman in this deck. Mm. You'd have to probably cut back a little bit of Ionia, maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I you could, but I, I think I mean these things like get you that card advantage, which I really really like. Um, but yeah, you you could work it towards Bannerman. Um, if the metagame's more aggressive and there's a lot more like burn and stuff like that, then you go back to playing Spirits Refuge. I took that out for today because there's just not really that that. Uh, much stuff like that, but Spirit's Refuge is an option over like a Prismatic Barrier or a Post, um, but Decide didn't really need that. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Shen Barrier. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Thank you so much, and I'll see you for the next video.